All right, we are back for Hard Elders Part 2. Um, sure, let's just dive right in. There's not much to say because we couldn't change our decks. Uh, we'll make uh, Wendy the lead investigator again, or not again, but now. Um, sure, there's, you know, we've entered a cave and we get to explore a cave and that's what this one's all about. Mm-hmm, okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and o do some opening hands. Okay, I just did some more set aside stuff. All right, these we don't need, but where's the explore deck? Uh oh, here it is. One thing I forgot. All right, we have no vengeance in the in the victor display, so that's good. Let's do some opening hands. We'll do Wendy first, just because she is lead investigator. This one's a little more enemy heavy, so maybe we want an overzealous. Let's just have that at the beginning of our of our game. Peter, always gonna take Peter. You know, I think we just have to go for the backstab before we do anything else. I'll keep the scavenging in hopes of a, a lock picks, but uh, okay. Over here. Yeah, I had good luck with that, didn't I, last time? Mind wipe. Mm, no. We'll start with this. I like the money. I like the arcane initiate. And let's see. What's going on? We had this last time. It's not that good. It's not that bad, but. Okay. We're looking at six clues, and our explore is here. It is on the agenda, and we can only explore if there are no clues on our location. That part is a little tricky, because we have to do that somewhat quickly. And our location does have a way of getting rid of things from the exploration deck itself. That is a Jacqueline thing right now. I mean, we can only really do it in this first round, huh? Okay, Arcane Initiate, find me a right of Seeking, please. No, those are not spells. All right, I'll take the resources, use our ability to get one, two, three. Hey, we did it again, didn't we? Look at that. Plus eight. Did I take one originally? Oh yeah, I did, because it was the Arcane Initiate. What a wacky card. It's like, what do I need this for? Um, Sure, let's look at the top two and discard the treacheries, like that one and not that one. Hmm. Uh, shuffle, right? Shuffle. Always gotta check that. I'm concerned about the poison just because I don't have much soak here other than the robes of endless night. So, um, we just have to sort of run through this, I suppose. That looks like three actions to me. We have no way of getting clues right now. So we need to draw cards. Okay. Um, sure, let's go three to two. Okay. I'm worried about a poisonous spores showing up. I think I'm a little less worried now that uh, we have one clue. I played this, I did three to two, I guess I can do it again. I can get rid of this. Give me a minus one again. It's not that likely. That's a minus three. Okay, upkeep. Waylay is good and Raptured is gonna do not much for me. 
We got the one doom in play from the Arcane Initiate. We have one of seven. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Okay. Hmm. Well, one way or another, let's go ahead and look for a spell, please. I find one, but it's not one I want. This is going to be very tough. So I can use my ability, but all I'm going to do is search for a zero. All right, we're not playing Ichitaka, right? We're not playing you, so uh, let's go four to two and use our ability. Okay. <laughs> Could have gotten it anyway. It's just That's just a little too scary to take a chance on, I think. I'm a little scared. Okay. Um, do we want to do this again? Is there anything for Wendy to play? Let's, okay, here's what we should do. We'll play the scavenging for one. Then we're going to attempt to get the clue at three to two. And we're just going to draw minus one. Look at that. And then instead of exploring, we are going to look at the top two exploration deck and, well, yeah, that would have, uh, that would have worked. Okay. Jacqueline, explore. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we do have a map. So it's after it enters play, right? I assume this is before you move to it, um, but we have a map. Now what? <laughs> now what do I do? I don't need more resources. I can just draw cards. I can just draw cards. I could play this, but I don't need to do that yet. Okay, that is a good draw, I think, kind of. <laughs> kind of not really. Yikes, this is a bad mulligan. Okay, well, we are going to go to upkeep one way or another. Nimble is good. That we have yet to see in this entire campaign, but this might be the day. All right, three of seven. Okay. Um, we have the pickaxe, so we're going to leave it here because we might use this ability again. Depends on what... Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. All right, we're going to have to go back. We'll have to come back here later. Um, so Wendy has to go first. I suppose Wendy could also explore, but we need to get rid of this. And then let's get rid of treacheries. Sure. Treachery, treachery. Goodbye. Discard, discard. And then shuffle the deck. Not that it really matters. And let's actually explore. We're looking for... No, we're looking for um, the green one, I think. Oh, or the yellow one. Nope. Green. All right, try not to fail. Not connected to where Jacqueline is though. So I got rid of the thing, I got rid of the other things, and then we explored and moved here. Okay. Ooh, this is a tough scenario if you don't have <laughs> good cards. I mean, I'll take you. So move, move. We will uncage the soul. 
that right of seeking for one resource. Okay, I wish I had one more. Um, oh man. Well, we just won't fail those tests. That's what we're gonna do. Just don't fail those tests. I don't think I shuffled. Hmm. Okay, that's nice. Four of seven. I can alter fate that. <sighs> this one just sucks. Place one doom or one vengeance. I'm going to have a hard enough time with those snakes once they come out. I think we're going to take the doom. And then you know it's going to come next. It's the one that says, oh, God. OK. I'll take this. Well, which thing do you want to alter fate, I suppose? I could alter fate the spores, or we could just run back here and explore again. Okay, what happens if Jacqueline stays here? She is poisoned, so she takes two horror. That also is not what I want to do. Frustrating. Um, it's not even the good right of seeking. It's the bad right of seeking. Um, I could take a. Well, can't get the. Can't get two clues. Uh, so yeah, it's like which thing do I alter fate? Right. No more than one clue. I don't think Wendy's getting any clues. I think we're going to alter fate the deep dark. And if Jacqueline just happens to take a bunch of horror, then so be it. Um, Wendy is not going to take her turn yet then. All right. We're going to go with the right of seeking. We're going to go at five, six, seven to four. I think that might be good enough. I could be very, very wrong. But we're gonna go with that. All right, we'll take that zero and not end my turn immediately. So we'll take both of these. And then we can explore from here. All right. I'm looking for a circle or uh, the moon. Nope. Oh, that's really annoying. But I actually have one more action. And I don't think there's any more of these left, right? So there's three locations left. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're good no matter what. Um, not there, not connected. This is connected. OK. We have binoculars on Jacqueline. Right? Investigate. Explore, explore, okay. So we're gonna do the safe but boring thing, which is move here and get rid of this. Oh, by the way, the fearless worked, huh? All right, we're gonna have six of seven, so we do need to dump the arcane initiate somehow. Okay, this is gone. Um, sure. 
So we take a whore a piece, one, two, and then um, we need to do. Pitfall. All right. I'm okay with this. Um, two to three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I should look for a spell, but my, my hand is full anyway. Let's just uh, get rid of all this stuff. And I just need to take two more horror or damage. That is not great, but maybe we'll manage with these robes of endless night. We're going to try to get those clues. I think we also want to play play this. It's going to cost me two. I also want to play this too, but I think we've got our last action. We're just going to go at five to two. Play, play, five to two. Okay, I'll take the these two and get the clues. Where did you get the clues from? Oh yeah, the first location. This has a victory point. I do want to get it. Um, this should be gone. Wendy, your turn is... Is what? What are you going to do? Try to get rid of this. That doesn't really come into play quite yet. Um, You know, I actually could do this. I could put this down, but I also don't think the problem is going to be the um, doom. It's going to be uh, Jacqueline's health. Okay. So I could move here. Well, we're probably going to get the, the we're probably going to get the harbinger, aren't we? Um, okay, let's draw a card then. Another scavenging, that's not helpful. Let's draw another card. Okay, we'll play you. Yeah, I think we're going to about to get the, the Harbinger back. Upkeep. Prescient, I haven't seen you in a while. Another Peter. All right, seven, seven cards. All right, we advance. We just remove Doom from here. We don't remove it from the two locations where we dropped it. And... There are eight or more tally marks under Yig's Fury. So it's going to go to the lead investigator's location. That is here. And that's uh, you. Hello. We might need to get rid of you. We might just need to evade a few times. We only have five to three, but we have a few other tricks. Um, 14, 14 Doom Threshold. Everything else is the same. Doesn't say anything about encounter deck uh, shuffling, right? No. Um. Yikes. Um. We will throw this up. No, 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 I'll throw it over here. Okay. Maybe this wig works to my advantage? Maybe not. So we need to evade you first. And then... Or maybe Jacqueline does this for you. Or maybe Jacqueline plays this. Hmm. I mean, there's a world in which I can fight using this at seven to three. 
Oh man, I don't know. Okay. I think we need to evade you first, just to exhaust you, and then maybe we can get rid of this, and we just have to, to take it as it comes. All right, we are up three, which I think is the best we can do on the evasion. Well, it's kind of better than that. Okay, so you are exhausted but not disengaged, and we get a token. We also get another action back. That's really good. Um, I'm pretty sure you're healed. Okay. I think I need to get rid of this. So we're going to toss this. Seems a little crazy, but we have plus three, so we have eight to four. Minus two is good. All right. And now we're going to try to leave this guy behind. We will commit nimble, so we're at six to three again. Um, yeah. Minus two. Okay, so that should break the engagement this time. Get another resource token, and then, oh, you're here. And then we're gonna move here with Nimble. Perfect, perfect. Okay. I actually could use this and try to get rid of him right now. And it's honestly not a terrible idea, but I'd rather use this last charge and put the Ineffable Truth down instead. So let's move here. Um, let's go at five, two, three. Hmm. Any spells? Nothing noteworthy. I mean, I can go five to three and use my ability, but I feel pretty bad if I don't succeed. I don't think I'm playing you. All right, we have seven to three. We'll use the ability. All right, we'll take that plus one. And then we'll play the Ineffable Truth, indeed, for two resources. All right, that's pretty good. That was a pretty good turn. We're gonna get some enemies though. That's kind of where things are going. Upkeep, upkeep. Oh my goodness, this is really good. Okay. We are now at three of 14. Three of 14. How many are there? Are there three of these? I guess there are. Hang on a second. Okay, I confirmed there are indeed three of these. Yeah. I knew you were gonna show up at some point. All right, we have some options here. We have the waylay and we can afford it. We also could just evade this guy and wear him down. This is a bit concerning, but hmm. I mean, I like this for going at seven to three. Like that's pretty good. And then just exploring. Oh my goodness, why haven't I spent my clues? Six, six clues. Try again. Six clues, we advance. Um, oh, I guess there's a reason why I didn't want to do this. Uh-oh, do we have chalk? Uh-oh. All right, so we shuffle this, which is the Descent to Yoth, into the Exploration deck. Um, That's so funny. Okay, well, you know, this is just the way things go. Um, let's read this. 
If the scout does not have chalk, place one clue on each location in play. Okay. From the token pool. One, two, three, four. All right. Then, if the scout is on a single side location, that is, you know, all of them but the starting location, shuffle that location back into the exploration deck. Then I assume it loses, oh man, too bad I can't lose the doom. All right, it loses all these attachments, right? That's, that can't stick around. This goes back in. Move each enemy and investigator that was at that location to a connecting location nearest to the mouth of Kenya. Can I go to, you know, I'd rather go here. I want to go, I want to go here. And you know what? Give me this guy. Hmm. I usually have chalk. That's awful. That is absolutely awful. All right. So new plan, evade. We have seven to three. We're gonna name symbol. We're gonna name symbol. Eight to three, and we're gonna reveal three. One, two, three. All right, we will take that cultist token, which is minus two, so I can get a spell back, which I think is just gonna be, um, I think it's just gonna be this for the icons. All right, and you get a third thing. Now you, on the other hand, we might just try to kill you. While we are here, we might just do this. All right, never played this card before. Um, I was supposed to seal the zero, so oops. Uh, I was supposed to seal that when I played it. Okay, spend one charge or release a chaos token sealed here. Fight, this uses, okay, plus two for each. Okay, so I have seven. So we can go seven to three. And then maybe if we get it, oh, I should have used my ability on that. Okay, we'll spend the charge and then we'll just pull. <laughs> incredible, absolutely incredible. Okay. For each zero token, seal it on Shards of the Void, and this attack does three, okay, so three damage. Absolutely incredible. All right. Action three, I just try to get rid of this guy, right? So we can release a zero. Is there a way to do that? Just put it back in the bag, I guess. Release the zero, I will spend, that was the, yeah, okay, okay. Um, so still seven to three, which I'm, I'm, I'm happy with seven to three. Probably happier with eight to three. Minus two, this guy's dead. Incredible, here, go to the victory display. Okay. I mean, I guess I cheated a little bit with the zeros not being there from earlier, but oh well. Okay, over here, we need to get the clues we dropped. So let's go ahead and go at eight to two. That's good. Do you have victory point? Yeah. Let's get rid of this. Um, I think I trust Jacqueline to evade again. So we're just gonna, oh, I succeed by two. Um, we're just gonna go back here. And we're gonna try to succeed. Okay, so we do this, we do, <laughs> Oh, sure. 
Eh. All right, so this goes away. Upkeep for Jacqueline. Sometimes it goes like that, right? Four of 14. I cannot use items. You should have a damage token on you. In fact, you might already know. Okay. So the part that stinks here is that I'm just going at seven to three and I could toss maybe this out. Maybe this. I can also try to kill you first and then use my ability. Let's do that. Let's, um, let's spend a charge and then we're gonna go at seven to three here and we will go nine to three. All right. Now we we'll use our ability and go seven to three. Excellent. We'll take the minus two, right? And this guy's gone. Bye. You should get you should get another damage, not that it matters. All right. Last action, I'm going to play this. Okay. Over here, Wendy. I could just kill the brood of Yig. Let's do it. One, two, three. We have five to two. Five to two. Mm-hmm. You knew that was coming. That's why we have a Wendy ability. Um, we probably don't need another one of you. Try again. Thank you. All right, now you. Um, are there any? Yeah, 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 here's what we do. We do this, we do um, eight to four. Um, honestly, we can save the lucky. Okay. And then we lock pick at eight to four. I will take you and you. Nice turn. Okay, things have stabilized a bit. So we'll go to upkeep and hopefully start to get some more locations into play. Five of 14. Sure. Uh, all right. This is gone. Okay. I think the best thing to do is try to evade. So we have five to three, and then we're gonna try to explore. That's a minus three. Let's, let's use the lucky here. So you are evaded, you're gonna sit there and we're going to explore. We're gonna find a triangle. We are going to find a heart. What are we looking for? Moon? Yeah. So that's action two. Um, we're gonna test five to one. Cool. Evade. Explore and I guess we try to get a clue at eight to one. Nice. It's a little slow, but we need to find hmm, 
I can use this again to try to get the right seeking out, I suppose. Maybe that's the way to go. Um, you're a hunter, so I'd rather you die. So we'll try the Shards of the Void. Um, let's throw the zero back in with the hopes of drawing it yet again. Okay, um, we have five to two. Uh, we use our ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five to two. Nice. I will take that zero. This guy's dead. Um, do I seal it? Yes. So I need to take you. Mm. Okay. Um, and then I draw a card from canceling the Elder Sign. That was shockingly good. Um, I probably should have committed this, huh? But... What next? We can stay together. I could explore somewhere else. Mm. What do you think is the best course of action here? Wendy's like, okay. I think we get another location to play. Not you. Um, that, that kind of sucks. I think that's down here. So we move to this, and indeed there are five or more tally marks under Yig's Fury. So, yeah. I mean, it's a doom. We can handle the doom. And I might just play this. One, two, three, four. And now we have seven over here. All right, upkeep, Arbiter of Fates. Haven't seen you in a little bit. Pickpocketing is very good. We now have seven of 14. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of okay. Okay, we're gonna put that over here. How many are there of this? Two? Sure, no doom here, so we're going at five to two. Nice. All right. Uh, I might just do this, keep doing this. Can't release. I wanna release, just, yeah. Put you back in. We are going at five to two. Um, let's name even, I suppose, six to two, and yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. That card's good. Um, we want the right of seeking back, I think. <laughs> it's fun, it's a fun card. Um, we need to seal the zero again. That is how it works, right? Yeah. Action two, we can play the right of seeking maybe. For three. And then let's try to use it. We have uh, five, six, seven, to three, um, eight to three, I can spend my own resource. Perfect. All right, over here, <laughs> we're just gonna, uh, I mean, there's, it's just sort of slow going, right? So we'll do lock picks at eight to one, cool. Um, we will go Look for items. There aren't any. So I can toss this, I suppose, and go six to one. Okay. And then just go three to one. Cool. 
pile of clues. I mean, the chalk didn't help, right? Okay, upkeep. Ugh. I've lost my cool. Oh, I forgot the winging it. Is the winging it still in here? It is. I forget about this card every time. I should have done that there. That was the place to do it. Ooh, that hurts. Okay. Eight of 14. Ill omen. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll put the doom here. And Peter will take a single horror. And this is going to go into the exploration deck. I do not want to take any more damage. Okay, that means that Wendy needs to explore. Wendy, explore. Dark Hollow, that is the one that is up here, right? Yeah. Um, we would like to get that, but not yet, huh? All right, that is this one. After Descent to Yoth enters play, we must either place one Doom or draw the top two cards of the encounter deck. I think we can take the Doom. And then we'll try to get rid of it. So after we successfully investigate, instead of discovering clues, flip a Doom. Uh, eight to three. Minus three is five. That's good for one of these. Um, there's nothing to scavenge. I can go maybe with the old king key ring. I guess that's just my last action. Okay. Jacqueline will try to get these clues. Um, we'll use our ability to go five. Um, I've been counting this wrong. I have some extra skill value here. Okay. Um, Yeah, we have six. We'll take the minus one. I don't want to take the chance of this, although the map problem is real. Hmm. Um, I think we... We can we can sit around for a bit. We have a well. We don't have that much time. But I have a good chance of getting these clues. I just want to. So if I if I'm here and then the map helps me not put extra clues on this location, that's kind of a lot better. So. We can put this out. One, two, three, and then I'll draw a card. Mm -hmm. Not great. Okay, upkeep. Another lock picks, that's kind of nice. Um, 11 of 14. Mm, I'm starting to, to feel the heat a bit here. Uh, no thank you, give me two encounter cards instead. Blank and something annoying. Okay, that's fine. So Wendy will go first and put this down for a fast thing. And then we are going to evade at five to three. Very nice. Uh, we'll take a resource back. We'll move here and then explore. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, five, two, three. Minus three, I take one damage. All right. Yeah, I took my resource. Okay, now Jacqueline is free to explore. And then get those clues. So explore. Um, this is going to have two clues on it. <laughs> those aren't clues. Jacqueline, move. Um, I think we, we go with the right of seeking here and use our ability. So we have six to three. 
I can make that 8 to 3. I don't really need my ability then, but I don't have anything else to use it on. Well, <laughs> anyway. All right, so that's minus 4, so we're good. All right, you are back up, and then we go to upkeep, work protection I really like. This is gone. And now we're at 12 of 14. So we do need to move back fairly quickly. Hmm. Uh, this puts you down to five. That's okay. This is now going to shuffle. So here comes the poison cards, right? Close enough. Okay. Wendy moves, evades, and then maybe flips this or something. Uh, five to three. Minus two. I'll take the card. Hmm. Okay. Very nice. One, two, um, yeah, we just go four to three. I can go, uh, six to three using our ability. Sure. Any one of those is good for one clue. All right, let's just make it through. Prey is the poison investigator. Cannot play cards or commit cards to skill tests. Hmm. All right, 12 of 14. Oh, I guess they're there is a little bit more time than I thought. Anyway, um, put this into the exploration deck. Mm. One and two. Let's put that over there. Okay. Couldn't cancel it, right? I think all that needs to happen is Wendy just needs to get the clue and then we're done. So let's do that. Done. All right, full clear. That is was a lot easier once we got rid of the enemies. That was uh, this was good card. Again, sorry that I forgot to seal this when I played it. When you play cards that say seal on them, that is a cost to putting it into play. But I think I hit on all of them with the zeros. That was pretty sick as a three damage weapon. Cool. All right, we have made it to the end of the first portion of the campaign. That is, maybe it's the second portion, I don't know. The part where we're playing our investigators. Oh man, the next one is going to be a little, a little, I don't know, right? Let's go to Arkham Cards and see what we're missing. Um, what is this? This is uh, R1. We did not rescue Alejandro. Everyone's alive. The Harbinger now has two, two damage. Um, no vengeance. Oh, that's not true. There's two. This right here has two vengeance on it. All right, we have two from that one. We have one from the guy up there. We've got one more here, two. Uh, so one, two, three, four. So it's a seven. I think that seven is the max possible. Um, no poison for Wendy. 11 XP that we have to spend. And that is going into the city of archives because, you know, this whole part, one of these creatures responds by clicking its claws against one another. Weird. Alejandro, actually a Yithian or something. Cool. Thanks for watching. And the next one is sure to be interesting. It might be 
really tough with these decks with these investigators because I mean they're kind of built around just pass a test right just pass whatever test that they want to do some you know silly things with their abilities um, losing their abilities is uh, kind of bad but we'll see if we can pull it off <laughs> 